In this video, I'd like to go over how to integrate a label within a list item or multiple labels within your list item. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my food safety temperature list. And while you're here, every item has the ability to do this. You'll just go to the particular item in the list. So let's say grill one, for example, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and you'll see there's a label section here. And then from here, all you'll do is select this drop down, and it'll show you all of the labels that you have available. Now you can, if you'd like to type in here as well. So if we typed in a beef, for example, it would pull up anything that I have named beef, whether it is the category, as you can see labeled here within the parentheses or the label name itself. And you can add one label, you can add multiple labels. You can come back in and uh, type in a new word. So if we want to do chicken, then again, I'm, I'm essentially just selecting whichever labels I want available for this item. When you save the list and we go to the device, we'll go ahead and come into our food safety temperatures and any item that has the label associated with it, it'll actually have a label icon as you can see here. So it's got a little image of a printer. When you select that, it'll open up any of those labels that you've added will show up here. And then all you do is select the button once to print one label. If you do the long press, then you can enter in multiple and then print. So anytime you're doing a line check or if you're just doing your opening procedures and you notice that you need to make a product or you don't have a label, you can very easily print that label right here within the list without navigating out to go into the label section, back into your list and pick up where you left off.